Hi there my lovelies, this is Jana here, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to make a very nice, uh, hearty and uh, somewhat sophisticated meal. We're going to make a coffee stew with a cauliflower puree, everything very simple, all um, uh, easy ingredients, uh, very easy to put together, but in a very different way, so you're going to love it. So follow me and I'll show you how I made it. All right, so now we're going to start with some oil in a pan. And when it's hot, we're going to add the carrots and the onions. And we're going to saute it until it's golden. Now add the garlic and saute for 40 seconds more. Add fresh sage. Now you add the spices, salt, pepper, the smoked paprika and oregano. Add the champignons, the veggie broth. Now cover and let it cook for 15 minutes in medium-low heat. Alright, so for some extra umaminess, I added a little bit of soy sauce instead of adding only salt for savoriness because I like the way soy gives a lot of uh, complexity to the food. And uh, yes, but if you want to leave it out, by all means, you can do that. I highly advise you not to because it gives, like I said, a very nice uh, final taste to the food. All right, so now we're gonna to proceed to make the cauliflower puree, which couldn't be easier, but God, I tell you, I mean, if you wanna skip the carbs <laughs> and then uh, make a, a very nice, um, very, how can I say, it's still very homemade and very comforting, but not with a lot of carbs and extra nutrition, you make, of course, a cauliflower puree. It is so good. You can season it however you want. I made a very basic one because the stew here, the coffee stew is already complex enough. So I wanted to give it, to let it a little bit more neutral to uh, combine with the stew instead of fight it. I don't know if I'm making sense, I think I am. But uh, seriously, it is so good and as easy as making potato. Uh, it's as easy as making mashed potatoes. Now you start by cutting the cauliflower into smaller florets. And we're going to simmer it in salted water until the cauliflower is tender. Now you drain the cauliflower, put it back in a pot along with unsweetened soy milk, vegan butter, salt, pepper, and of course some nutmeg. And then you puree it until it's very, very smooth. All right, so if you don't wanna use soy milk because you prefer almond milk, that's fine. If you prefer cashews milk, that's fine. Um, coconut milk, not so much. Not so much because the coconut, it has this sweet note. So it might, um, you might need, ex and cauliflower is a, li a little bit sweeter. So uh, you might need some extra sauce to balance it out. So I don't advise you, but one important thing, However milk you're using, use unsweetened plant-based milk, like read the label and see if they have some vanilla essence or some sugar or some sort of sweetener of any kind. Skip that, I mean, because it ruins the food. At the end, your food, your food is going to smell like a vanilla stew. And of course we don't, not this time, we don't want that now. All right, so now we're going to pan sear the seitan by adding oil to a pot. And when it's hot, we're going to add the seitan. Then you add salt and pepper. And you saute it until it's golden brown. And about a quarter cup of the coffee. And now you let the seitan soak up the coffee. And when the coffee is completely disappeared from the pan, you turn off the heat and reserve. All right, so now we're going to add the remainder of the coffee in the stew. And then we're going to add the 
cornstarch slurry, which is uh, one tablespoon of cornstarch or one and a half, depends on how thick you want your stew to be. And then a little bit of water and then you stir it and then you put it in a pot because it's going to uh, thicken it up so your stew is going to have a little bit more structure. And uh, along with that, we're going to add the pan seared seitan and then let it cook for about three minutes more and you are done. This is one of the best dishes that I have ever made and it's ready in no time and it's so beautiful and so easy and so everything good. My god, if I could, I would eat that every day, I think. You have no idea how tasty this is, I mean, really, seriously. Now guys, please make it and if you do, please tag me on Instagram and Facebook, you guys are geniuses. You, um, I love when you add your touch to the recipes that I make here for you guys and so I love it, it warms my heart. Now this is it for today, now we also have um, a join button that means that you can be a, a member of this channel and uh, by becoming a member you're going to get uh, secret and exclusive perks, how about that, which is going to be uh, added in the community part on the channel so uh, you click on there and then there's always gonna be special and exclusive contents for you guys and this is it become a member and please make it and please follow me on my social media uh, Facebook and Instagram it's gonna be written down here as always and um, like I said I, I can't <laughs> I'm so happy I can't stop talking about it it's really really good so this is it for today I hope you have enjoyed it and I see you next time. Have a fabulous week. Bye bye. Perfect.